Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Habi Pina Silent Auction. My name is Gabe Mercado, and I'm here with Len Kabili. Hi, Len. Hi, Gabe. So happy to be working with you this afternoon. And I'm really, really excited to um, go through all these items with you. Uh, today, we will be auctioning pieces from the Lourdes Montinola Weaving Prize. Could you tell me a little bit about this weaving prize then? Uh, you know, it started like three years ago, um, and it's really encouraged a lot of weavers uh, to come up with new designs to even innovate. And uh, also the result of this competition has, has picked like the interest of the general public and also the textile enthusiasts to really look at Pina in a different um, view. Um, there's just a lot of um, revival of old techniques. Like um, I think this year there was a lot of like renge that came out, suk suk came in different patterns. It's really so very exciting and very optimistic and hopeful for, for the textile industry as a whole, um, how you know, Pina really plays a, an important role in the textile industry, how, how it's, it's, it's a part of our Filipino identity. So yeah, this, this competition has, has done um, so much in uplifting Pina. And of course, um, I've had, as, uh, as I was preparing for this event, I was able to look through some of the items up for sale. And um, kung hindi lang bawal para sa akin, I would really bid on some of these items uh, right there. They're very, very exciting. Um, this silent auction is actually uh, Habi's first ever online auction. You know, pre-pandemic, Habi held silent auctions during its annual bazaar at Glorieta, and bazaar goers would bid for selected handwoven materials. Now, since the Likang Habi Fair went online this year, 2020, instead of holding the annual bazaar in a mall, uh, we're doing this one online. And uh, let me go. And you know what the bonus here is that um, you'll have a little bit more time uh, to do this as we announce the mechanics. And we will have you, Len, a textile aficionado um, and one of the judges from the Lourdes uh, Montinola competition to walk us through some of the pieces as we go through them. Now, for the mechanics of our of our uh, auction, interested bidders may send an email to auctions.habi at gmail.com with the following details. Put your e in your email subject, Pina Auction Participation, the name of the piece you want to bid on, your bid, your full name, the address, and the contact number. The silent auction opens on December 12, 3 p.m. and ends December 14, 3 p.m. at Philippine Standard Time. And our auction is an absolute auction, which means every lot sells to the highest bidder. Auction.habi at gmail.com will then send an email to the highest bidders to confirm their win. Payment instructions and shipping arrangements will be sent to the winning bidders. The winning bidders must settle their payments within 48 hours via bank deposit or bank transfer. Yun lang po ang, uh, ang stated ways to do it. If the, wrong, if the winning bidder is unable to complete their payment within the allotted time, 48 hours, Habi will award the lot to the next highest bidder. All lots in the auction are sold in exactly the condition you see them in. Items may not be returned or exchange. exchange. And once payment has been settled, Habi will send instructions on pickup or shipping arrangements. So I hope we're ready. Yes. We are going to start the auction for the third Lourdes Montinola Pina weaving prize. So let us take a look at the very first item. Our very first item up for auction is a pinya scarf checkered and striped. The weaver is Elizabeth Rasonable. Tell me about this, Len. 
You know, this actually won the Innovative Award because the judges uh, and I really saw how they took um, much effort in creating something different um, for this competition. They used a lot of polyester thread. Um, polyester, you know, it's, it's a synthetic fiber, but um, I think it creates like a, a sheen on the fabric. And they've created a plaid uh, pattern yeah. on this fabric. And it's, it's woven in a scarf size, so you can really... Oh, I love, I love, thank you, Habi, for asking me to do this. This is a really great way of spending my Saturday. Um, I wish I could buy everything. Um, so see, it's, it's really, a, a, it has a nice um, body to it. Right. So I'm, I'm envisioning if I were to buy this, I'd, I'd wear like a, you know, like a white shirt and jeans and just like have this on top as, a, as an accent. It's beautiful, really. Actually, if you look at it and you look at my shirt, parang bagay siya. Ano nga no? Should I bid this for you? <laughs> if only I can get away with a shawl or a scarf like that, pero malay mo, I just might. If you're interested in this item, then please send us your bid. Uh, the title is Pinya Scarf Checkered and Stripe. Our starting bid for this is 1000 500 pesos and remember just send the email with your bid and the title and all the other details that we asked for and we'll consider that your bid for our first item we're going to move on to our second item right now piña seda renge and tablero with pili and this is by chuli de mateo and janalin razonable Okay, it comes from the same uh, family of weavers. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, renge has been a distinct uh, feature in the submissions of this year's competition. And just a short, let me just like talk about the importance of piña and how for me as a textile lover, like how what I love most about it is it's really one of the rare fabrics that we have and even on a global scale that you rarely find uh, a textile in its purest form. Um, I remember uh, a trip to uh, where was it in Antique and they made me scrape the leaf of the piña with a broken glass and as I scraped it you really see the fibers coming out and these fibers they um, dry and then it's tied and then it's woven into this beautiful fabric. So we really have, as a, as a country, we have so much to be proud of that apart from piña, we also have abaca. Um, and these are fabrics in its purest form. And it's very rare to find that um, in this day and age. So this- uh, Len, this pin this piña, Len, is the same piña that we eat from the same plant, or is it uh, a different it's a variety? It's a different variety. Yeah, it's a different variety. It has um, really long uh, leaves. Uh -uh. I see. And so, um, yeah, this one has also the um, suk, suk which is an open... Uh, it's like, uh, okay, uh, the this one has a bit of the, yeah, the renge, uh, it's a very subtle renge. You, you, um, but you do see it. It's beautiful because it's very subtle. So renge is like the open work, and then suk, suk is, um, you know, it's it's like this um, supplementary supplementary weft pattern that um, they actually discontinue it to create the patterns. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So it's beautiful. Okay, there you 0. go. 0.6 yards. Great. So yeah. for anyone interested in this, you can easily uh, make a terno top out of it or like a camisa or it can be made into a beautiful shawl. Um, yeah, even like a skirt. Yeah. 0. 0.6 I wish, is, is I, I well wish there were more things that men can do with piña. Oh, yeah. Usually... This 
pang barong eh, di ba? Yes, pwedeng-pwede to. Like, oh, uh, male bidders, bid on this. <laughs> and uh, again, you can send an email um, with your bid for this. Bidding starts for this piece at 2,000 pesos. This is the Piña Seda Rengue and Tablero with Pili. All right, and now we're moving to our third item in our Habi silent auction. This is a piña seda. The weaver is Jofi Fernando. It's cream, two yards, red Spanish piña with silk yarn, lindog, and apple embroidery thread. The weaving technique is scattered, and the design is sampagita. What's so great about this particular fabric length? Ah, uh, look at this. J look at the quality of the... Can you see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that that shows the quality of this fabric because the fabric is actually right in front of me. So you, wow. you see how, um, yeah, the the weaving is, is really um, excellent. And I love the, the Sampagita design that he I has um, placed on the fabric and using the soap technique it's two yards and really the the red you were asking me earlier on the kind of um, pineapple yeah, yeah. it is the red spanish luxurious uh, fabric really and especially this one because they um they used silk yarn with it so when you look at it there's there's a, a beautiful uh, sheen to it, which is um, a really nice quality of, of Kenya fabric. You know, when I look at this, ang may isip ko yung mga dating mga sarsuela or uh, pang Independence Day because it's so beautiful and very special. I know. Uh, oh. But my dream is actually like to see more Filipinos wear it every day. Right. Um, I think that would really help um, sustain the the industry uh, that it it is used as uh, as uh, as I mentioned earlier. You know, it's it's a big part of our national identity, oh. and so how how beautiful it would be if we see it more often in right. everyday life. Right. And if you want this to be part of your uh, daily clothing or accessories, you can start your bid at 2,000 pesos for this piña seda. And now we're moving on to the next item in our silent auction. This is piña silk dye. The weaver just has a first name, Gina. This is brown with gradients of black, maroon, and gray. 65 DPI dense per inch with a 30, 30 inch width. The material is piña and silk and dyed with vegetable dye stuff using talisay leaves and buko husk combination. How special, no, Gabe? How oh. that it's dyed with vegetable, right. uh, out of vegetable and um, talisay, buko, husk you really see a beautiful color and and you know when you do vegetable dye it's you never can replicate it but it's so hard to replicate right. it because okay. um you know it's always like different um you know different characteristics different yes. tones uh, yes. every time you use the dye yes again um you know what's consistent with all the submissions the weaving, the foundation fabric of piña is beautiful. Like they really used a lot of uh, high quality fibers. See, do you see it? Like I have a fan behind me, so. <laughs> Again, that the way it flows <laughs> and the way it's, it's translucent through the- Yeah, it's almost like, see how it, Lies. It's so light. That's a good test, half. Huh? Right. And what I like is, you know, um, we can still see your green wall through the cloth. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. ganun, ganun yung translucency. Tama ba yun? Can I use translucent with the with yeah, yeah, like yeah, translucent um, or like yeah, it's almost like transparent, right? Right. Oh. right. And yeah. what would something like this be good for, Len? 
Wow. Um, Kaftan. <laughs> you know, it's a kaftan and then add like embroidery. But like for men, they can use this as a barong, even as a skirt. And then you wear it with like a black top. Oh, I, yeah. Right? Yeah, I can so imagine beautiful. that. Because as a skirt, a full skirt, parang it has body. Eh, so oh, and the pattern oh. will be seen on the full skirt. Right. And if you are interested in this item, this is the Pina Silk Dyed by Gina. You can send your bid in through email. The starting bid for this is 3,600 pesos. 3,600 pesos for Pina Silk Dyed. And we're moving on to our next item. Our next item is Pina Silk with Tiny Pocket Nips. And this is by Marilyn Almario, 65 DPI, 30 inch width, and two meters. This is made of piña and silk. You know, Gabe, I think Mama Malu, Mama Lulu, what, how do you, sorry, <laughs> Empisaya, eh, Malu, ma, ma, how do you say it when you're going to like run out of money? Ma, Mamumulubi. Yeah, kasi <laughs> parang I want to buy all. <laughs> Of course, you I know, can. Wait, uh, so, I check. Pwede pala tayo mag-bid, Len. Pwede ba? Pwede tayo mag-bid kasi silent, ano? So, oh, it's no. out of our hands. So, pwede tayo mag-bid. Pwede, dito. pwede. It's just that, you know, um, parang, for me, this is such a treat to even have, be touching it. I love the cocoon. They created, like, um, yeah, out of, it's made out of their waste um, silk yarn and they dyed it. Both ah, like chemical so and natural dye, and they kind of like inserted it, and it's so interesting because the way you have the 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 warp and the weft. Yes. And so when they weave it, I'm when I'm looking at the fabric, I'm trying to analyze, you know, how they slowly inserted the cocoon. Um. Yeah, the waist cocoon because on both sides, it's actually parang um. It's in between both the, yeah, it's, it's, so it's like a, a pocket the or something. Warp and the weft. Uh -uh. Yeah. So, hindi siya lumalabas on either side. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, I, I think I can get away with a barong using that. Yes. Bagay sa personality ko. Uh oh. May pink. Parang you like pink. Parang you like pastel colors. So, pwede pwede to. Oh, oh, oh. I like how it's pinya, yeah, but it's a little bit playful. Yes. Uh, a, a little bit uh, light. Uh -oh. And uh, this piece is a pinya silk with tiny pocket nips. The starting bid is 3,800 pesos. And I will also accept if you bid and then you give to me. We can go on to our next item. This uh, is pinya silk with scattered sinuk sok. And this is by Pearly. It's a natural color. 65 DPI, 30 inch width, 2 meters. The material is piña and silk. Uh, and again, it's sinuk sok, Len. Yes. Uh, remember you mentioned earlier that it reminds you of the Philippine map? Yes. No, the yes. pattern? Yes. Yes. Um, La Herminia has consistently been, you know, um, in the top uh, weavers, um, weaving centers of Pina. And I think they've consistently like placed in the last three years. And this is really a testament to the work that they, they do. It's sublime, really. Wow. The fabric is sublime. This one is really very soft and yeah. It's my gosh, sometimes I, I'm lost for words. Just you know, by I'm just, just it, looking at like a touchy person. It's really gorgeous. And whoever will win this will be will be very happy with what they're getting. Right. So this is pinya silk with scattered sinuk sok uh, by pearly. Our starting bid for this item is 5,000 pesos. 5,000 pesos. And now we're moving on to the next item in our list. This is piña, seda, cloth, rose. And the weaver is Ursulita Let de la Cruz. 
and this is natural with colored insertions, 2.6 yards. The material is piña fibers, silk, and cotton, and the weaving technique is pili suksok. The insertion of supplementary pattern weft with colored threads during the weaving process. And it's a rose design. Yes, look at that. It's so beautiful. You know, you mentioned the material. It's made out of piña, silk, and cotton. The cotton gives uh, a very distinct, uh, uh, like, yeah, it's very distinct when you touch it because you really feel the cotton. It's amazing how, oh. how when you look at it, you really see the difference when you put it beside a purely piña fabric or a piña seda. But this one has the cotton um, fiber. It has a very, it has a, a different texture to it, and which make it makes it very special. That's the type na kapag suot mo, you really want to touch it with your. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Parang gusto mo ikut kot, but you resist the temptation ikut kot. But uh -oh. I imagine it already. Uh oh, uh -oh. makikita you you makikita mo talaga at saka the cotton is is felt. When you touch it, that's that's a great feature of this of this oh. fabric. And the rose design is very yes. nice, diba? For those who like roses, go grab this. Uh -oh. Or for somebody you know who likes roses, this is the Pina Seda Cloth Rose Design. Our starting bid for this is 6,000 pesos. And we're about midway through, or a little midway through, our, our, our lots up for auction. This item is the Pina Seda Shawl 3 with geometric patterns, also by Ursulita Let de la Cruz. This is natural with black pattern, 30 inches width and 2.3 yards, made of pina fibers, silk, and cotton. And this one is using the renge technique together with the pili, suksuk, and checkered. Yes, again, um, the renge appears. Um, they skip threads in the warp and weft using three pedals to create an open work. So it's like a calado effect um, associated with embroidery. You know, with the calado, they, I, and I think I'll, I'll show it later on if I see one here. Calado, they, um, they gather the warp and the weft to create an open space. Here, it's done through weaving. Grabe talaga our tradition in, in weaving or like in embroidery and textiles. We have so much to be proud of. And this is like a scarf. So um, for those who who love um, like minimalist, ano? Yes. Who go for the mini minimalist look or, yeah, so nice, beautiful. And I Ready think go a geometric pattern, no? What? The geometric pattern. Yes. Is, yes. Is something that I really like. Yes. Uh oh. And the, it also has the um, pili suk suk and um, checkered. Okay. So they insert the supplementary pattern with the colored threads. Right. To create right. The, the patterns. And if you want to bid on this item, it is called Pina Seda Shawl 3 Geometric Pattern. The starting bid for this item is 7,000 pesos. Send us your email with your bid so you can get a chance to win this item. Our next item is called Habi ng Lahi. This is by Carlo Eliserio. It's natural with hand painting using natural dyes, 30 inches at 2.3 yards. And this material is unique. Betel nut, betel leaves, bamboo leaves, mayana leaves, salisay leaves, anato seeds, mahogany, and banana were used as natural dye sources. Wow. Grabe, no? Look at that. Look, it's a scarf. It's um, 2.3 yards with a width of 30 inches. What's interesting is it was hand-painted by Carlo, no? Yeah, Carlo. Galing, sobra. Piece of art talaga. Oh, oh, oh. Parang I'd be afraid to wear something like yes. that. 
pwede nga to ano multi purpose eh. you right. can wear it as a scarf yes. but when you're not wearing it then um you can use it as a tapestry right i was thinking and that just hang it on the wall para you get to appreciate it every day yes yes on a nice uh, wooden ring or something like that yes Parang pwedeng pwede yun. Or actually, I, I I use the ladders that we have here in Baguio. <laughs> Ay, oo. Oh, oh, tama. Tapestry, yeah. tapestry square. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is hand-painted and naturally, uh, naturally, with natural dyes as well. The starting bid for Habi ng Lahi by Carlo Eliserio is 11,000 pesos. Please email your bids. And we are moving on to our next item, and it gets more and more exciting. This is a this is called Pinya Silk with All Over Sinoksok Polka Dots by Janeth Villan Weva, 65 DPI, 30 inches width and four yards. This is Pinya and Silk, and the weaving technique is Sinoksok. Polka dots naman ito. It's more like square. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, ah. See it? Yeah. It won third prize. Hi, nako. I shouldn't say this, but this <laughs> is one of my favorite pieces. It's beautiful. I'm going to bid for it. <laughs> and what would you do with this, uh, Len? Huh? How would you use this? I'll save it for when I get married. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you can really, like, it's so beautiful. It's so... um. Gosh, it's, you know, the pattern kasi creates that, um, yeah, para siyang, gosh, I'm so bad with like describing, um, I'm better at like when I'm writing. Para You're, mesmerized. So You're mesmerized by the plot. But yeah, it, it's just, there's like when, when you look at the pattern from the side, the the view of the pattern just creates this um yeah this parang you you see something shining right uh -oh. say it's 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 scattered all over um right. it's really beautiful and how many yards is this this is uh, four, four yards. yards so mahaba so, haba ito. Uh -oh. maybe i shouldn't have said na i know <laughs> that you're gonna bid for it yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, but it's beautiful. No, really, like um, Janet Villanueva did such an amazing job, and this deserves um, to be worn on a very special occasion. So, anyone who's um, getting married soon, go for this. It can be your veil. It can be, yeah, like a, a special detail to your nice. to your wedding gown. But really. I think it's it's really very very um, beautiful. Um, it's even like that's an understatement. Right. So. You know, I I'm, I'm so amused when you say that saving it for um, saving it for a wedding because I remember back in my youth we did have saved pinya for future use. Na talagang cloth na ng ganon. That that was for graduation, for wedding, for very special occasions. And yeah. I guess that's how big uh how important pinya is to our culture no yes um, yes saving it for these occasions and if you have a special occasion coming up or in the future if you want this for your children for your brother for your sister for yourself you can bid on this item pinya silk with all over sinok sok by janet villanueva the starting bid is eleven thousand six hundred pesos and we're moving on to our hand-woven piña seda scarf with inlaid natural dyed piña fibers. The description is in the title. This is by Raquel Eliserio, uh, and this is 2.6 yards. Ang the design is blue tulips. Have you noticed? Wow. Ganda, no? Oh, oh, oh so, it's an unusual design, no? Yes, and it's all over. You know, all these pieces, anyone can buy it and set it aside as a, a special gift for someone special. Like, you don't have to, like, take this opportunity talaga to get hold of these um, fabrics because 
it it will take a while for um, the weavers to weave it for you if you ordered it like you know um, another time. Take advantage, and it's really for a good cause. It's for Habi. It's um, Habi is a, a nonprofit organization founded by. Um, Mrs. Maribel Ongpin, and it was founded in 2010. And Habi is the, um, the Philippine um, Textile Council of, of, of our country. So um, they're doing a lot of like good work. It's really, um, I'm proud to be a Habi member. <laughs> and I'm proud to be a, an avid Habi supporter. I'm yeah. Just out of curiosity, because you mentioned it, Len, a piece like, like the one that uh, we just showed, how long does it take for a weaver to make something like this, 2.6 yards? Um, you know, I'm sorry, but I, I have no idea. It's um, because it's, as I mentioned earlier, it's really a, a long process, uh, even just harvesting the, I, the fiber I, to uh, weave. Probably, um, they could probably do um, like a meter a day at the very least. Right. Um, but what's difficult is when they're setting up their their loom, that's where yeah. it takes longer. So take that into consideration. Um, this is the price that that everyone's getting this for is is quite a steal. Yeah. And how I think it's so special that it well, it's a submission to a competition. So really, the level of craftsmanship is is astounding. Right and. The starting bit for this item is 12,000 pesos. The title is Handwoven Piña Seda Scarf with Inlaid Natural Dyed Piña Fibers. We're moving on to our next item up, up for bids. Piña Silk with All Over Sinuksok. This is by Roli Arboleda. Natural with white and red insertion, 65 DPI, 30 inch width, 5 yards. The material is piña and silk. And we have octagon patterns with scattered polka dots in red color. Oh, you know, this fabric makes me cry. It's so delicate and the pattern is so feminine and it's just such a beautiful piece of work by Rolly Arboleda. Uh, I, I, wish, I wish you were in front of me so I could... Um, you know, shake your hand and tell you really like thank you for for uplifting and and really pouring your you can really feel that weavers when you go through all the the fabrics you really feel the the love for their craft the love for their work and that that makes the fabric even more valuable it's Gosh, I'm in love with this. Oh, 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 oh. My, it, it's it. It's funny, Len, um, that you said that it's very feminine. I also see it as very masculine. Oh, great! Na, na, absolutely, I think a, yeah. a bong using that would be wonderful. Uh, you know, men and geometric patterns. <laughs> true, true. So wedding, yeah. wedding. So you can bid for this item. This is Pinya Silk with All Over Sinok Sok by Roli Arboleda. Our starting bid for this item is 14500 And we're moving on to the next item. This is Pinya Silk with All Over Sinok Sok Square Ethnic Pattern. And this is by Janet Villanueva Natural. 65 DPI, 30 inch width, and 6 yards. Wow, you can do a lot with six yards. Right, right. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, no? Look at that. Ang ganda. Really? I mean, this is a luxury fabric. Yes. Look at that. Look I, how it shimmers through even yes. through the webcam camera. Yes. Look at that. It's, you know, uh, 15,000 for six yards. That's that's a steal. I think a steal. Oh. I think people should fight over this. Right. You know the 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 pattern makes it very different, and you see the beauty of the plain uh, piña, and then you have the 
the sinuksok, the insertions. And it's a beautiful ethnic pattern that was used by Janet Villanueva. Janet, thank you for such a beautiful work. Beautiful, beautiful work by Janet Villanueva. Pina Silk with all over Sinuksok Square eth ethnic pattern did start for this at 15,000 pesos. And we're down to our last three items. And it's really been... A wonderful, wonderful haul so far, sensory overload, but we've reserved the last three items especially for you. And we are going to look at this. This is the piña silk with tablero renge with sinuksok. The weaver is Rowena. Natural with red and black insertion, 65 DPI, 30 inch width, piña and silk. And this is using an old style of weaving. Square patterns with loose fabric, but uh, interlocked with every fiber. Sinuksok is an inlaid design in weaving. Ooh, wow. This is the first prize winner. Congratulations, Rowena. So she's from the La Herminia Piña Weaving Industry. Rowena, congratulations. It's such an amazing... Um, work of art. Uh, as the judges and I were looking at this fabric, it's amazing how the diagonal uh, design was made and also the linear um, direction of the sinuksok. And then you're using pamulte color thread. I mean, you know, as I was analyzing weavers for me, they're true artists. Yeah. How they can, as they're weaving, it's like they know how it's going to look in the end and how as they're weaving, controlling the warp and the weft, they're creating that fabric. Oh, really, like it makes you like bow down to them. And it's how amazing. precise the work is and how, how precise, how delicate, how beautiful it is. Yes, and the pattern, no? Look at the pattern. Yeah, yeah, wow. Congratulations, Rowena. Congratulations, Rowena. And if you want to bid on the first prize winner, uh, the title is Piña Silk Tablero Renge with Sinuksok, our starting bid. It's a steal at 15,600 pesos. So please do send us the email. We're accepting bids until Monday until Monday. And now we're down to our last two items. Up for bids, this is hand-woven piña seda scarf with inlaid piña fibers. This is by Raquel Eliserio, natural with natural piña insertions, five yards, sinuksok weaving technique, and the design is Sampagita. Yes, it's the Sampagita, but more the patterns done closely to each other. So um, look at that. With five yards, you can do so much with this. And it's uh, piña seda, so it really has a, a certain body to it. Again, you notice the high-quality piña fiber that has been used. Five yards for this. Yeah, you can do a lot yeah. with five yards. Grabe. Now I'm confused which one I'm going to bid for. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. So beautiful. Even for men, no? Oh. Men can use this totally. It's a nice barong with like ruffles. Right, right. No? Beautiful. Oh, oh, the understated elegance of that. Wow, I would uh -oh. love a barong with that. This is handwoven piña set a scarf with inlaid piña fibers by Raquel Eliserio. And our starting bid for this is 25,000 pesos. And we're on to our final item up in our Habi Pina silent auction. And this is special. This is Alampay de Marcelina by Evangeline Badulis. It's natural pina seda with hand painting and four yards, pure pina fabric, original pina, and vintage fabric. 
hand painting, hand, hand embroidered, burda and calyado, and naturally dyed fabric. Tell us about this, Lam. Wow, I'm lost for words. It's um, everything is on this piece of art. Um, you have hand painting, you have applique, you have the calado, and then you have the Buddha calado. You have you see these boxes. Um, one box has the calado, and then you have like the applique, and you have the embroidery. Here you have the embroidery and then the hand painting, everything, all surface application that you can think of, you, you'll find on this piece of, of scarf. It's, it's quite long. It's four yards. Yeah. So it really, you can use this on, a, you know, even as on a table. Right. Or, right. The way to display it is really like on a, on a long table. A long, long table. But I guess you can also wear it as a. Parang it's too long yata as a. Parang. Ang tawag yun ng mga millennials, the, the ultimate flex to 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 wear something like that, something as beautiful yes. as that. Yes, it's a piece of art, so it really has to be displayed somewhere, um, prominent. So it's hand painted, hand embroidered, burda and calyado, and naturally dyed fabric. This is our final lot up for auction: the Alampay, the Marcelina by Evangeline Badulis. The starting bid for this is thirty-five thousand pesos, and I think very, very much worth it. Just as all our items are very, very much worth it. Thank you so much, Len, for guiding us through. All of our items up for bid. Talagang grab yung appreciation ko for all these creations based on how you explain them. Well, thank you for, um, thank you, Habi. And it's been a pleasure working with you, Gabe. Uh, you know, I really encourage everyone to start bidding. It's, it's worth every peso that you pay for it. Um, it I, I think it's even more than what the start, it is more, way more than what the starting bid is. And so grab this chance and start bidding right now and tell friends who might be interested on these beautiful, stunning uh, piña fabrics. Oh, get them while you can. And remember, interested bidders should send their emails to auctions.habi at gmail.com with the title of the item, the name, with the email subject, Pinya Auction Participation, the title of the item that you want to bid on your bid, full name, your full name, address, and contact number. Remember, this will end on December 14, 3 p.m., and it's an absolute auction. And if you win the auction, auction.habi at gmail.com will send an email to the highest bidder, and you will have 48 hours to settle your payments via bank deposit or bank transfer and then we'll send you the details of how to pick up or how we will arrange for delivery so thank you happy bidding uh thank you len i'm gabe mercado enjoy and buy all the items see you